Okay, so this is Station Street. Turn this way. Station Street, towards the railway station, the old Melinda Milk Factory, the old Timsey Seafood. Don't know if that's still there now. I've got where Kirby's Corner used to be. They've taken away the barricades, the fence from around here. As it was, it had a, had a fence you see in other videos on a for sale sign, but then it had sold on it for a few weeks. And now it's like this, so. turn back in a minute and show because the, the sun's in the wrong position it makes it a little bit harder to see so we'll turn back when we get to the shade up here back towards Windy Hill oh, there's people behind me so I can't really show it oh, that makes it hard huh. oh where's somebody trying not to show people out of respect and someone comes along while you're trying to show it but that's how things go I'm trying to show as much detail as possible especially when shops are closed I might wait for them to go past let them go a bit further ahead so that get a bit of privacy and yeah. It used to be Heyman's Electrical, now it's Reese Plumbing. There is full on rain coming, so it can't take as long as I would like. I'm trying to use the, the better camera to show as much detail, but it doesn't seem to be working. The rain coming, it was nice and sunny before. So there's your Empire, which used to be Caltex. And this is what old bearing supplies used to be there. And that spot. You got what used to be Shell, now Metro. Good year. Auto care to my to my right. <laughs> yeah, where they do it. This is Castle Street, they're doing it at the bakery. The old bakery over here. It's been painted. That was a good year quickly. Try and get in before the rain. Yeah, it just builds up all of a sudden, just out of the blue. It's nice and sunny before, beautiful sunny weather. But oh, it's gonna be a nice day. We'll get out and do a video. Taking as much detail as possible, and then this happens. So, <laughs> not overly shocked this time of the year. So this is where they're doing up the you guys been painting and doing whatever to the old drive through part, the old bakery. You can't really see where the, where the plaque used to be, it had Neil Clark's name on it. See the mayor at the time when it was put there. Turn back in a sec. The Innisfail Motors Group, used to be Carlisle Mufflers. It's had a few different names. Back where we just came from. hard when the rain's coming to show as much as I would like to show. So this was A1 exhaust at one stage too. And we've got Bundy Auto Wash. To have photos of this being built in 2007 on old new winners of photos on Facebook. Car wash, or auto wash. And where the ice machine used to be, just to play ice ice baby, vanilla ice. Okay, we're coming up on Kabuta Street. 
got one uh, at the mobile to my left, 180 straight ahead, 180 Eater Street that is. I'll show back where we just came from. With the clouds rolling in. This is not a water resistant camera or microphone set up, so that's why I was trying to do it today when it was sunny. Yeah, they were pressure washing the tops of the buildings yesterday in the awning when I went past. This is Carbuda Street, there's your auto wash and your network car and car and truck rentals and all that. Trying to show as much as possible with the clouds rolling in, not too good. So yeah, they cleaned up the top parts where, you know, it's just Jackson and Jackson and things like that. The different signage areas, tropic cartridges and printing, Fuji's. Here in Australia and model in bicycles. They cleaned all that up there. I don't know they cleaned the top of the awnings, but it's better than it was. Let's just cast through the turn here. It's all good. I'm used to it. This is your 180. 180 Eater Street. It's still weird without the huge sign there. It used to be there. Thank you for shopping at 180 Eater. You stay on it. Be nice to get under cover before it rains. Just in case it rains, but sometimes it just goes around us. But I'm not going to push it just in case. So there you go. That's your signage. I haven't really shown it much on photos, yes, but on video, no. That's a added tropic cartridges and printing to it. The rain and horns not there anymore, but it's still on the sign. Jackson and Jackson not there anymore, it's on. They've got their sign still there. Okay. Tobacconist. Supposed to be a news agent. As well. Mix and match of things. As you can see sunglasses in the window. You can obviously buy sunglasses through there, or from there. I've noticed used to be. Well, I haven't turned this since I've fixed it up. I've, been, I've reported this so many times, this part here. Now yeah, it's been done up. Fixed up. It is to my right, used to be Grasso Motors. A couple of different boat places. And it's well marine. Now it's Coastal Marine and Outdoors. This is Pelican Street. Where Doggy used to be, D-O-G-G-I-E, or D-O-D-G-Y. If you know, you know. A particular dog used to live there that was really friendly. But there's Coastal Marine and Outdoors. Corner of Pelican and Edith. Okay, we'll continue on. Try the estate sales on today, they're open. That's not really the best signage. I never see too many people in there. I do see people in there, but not too many. Not a huge amount. Grasso Motors. Maurice Grasso Motors. The younger chap. Don't usually get to show the signage. Close up. You do I'm dropping people around, all these vehicles in the way. So what we can. I'm in 4x4. They do sell two ways and camping gear and stuff. And there, 4x4 accessories. Old Anderson's carpet. Advertising. State sale sign. 
basically all second-hand stuff. I've been in there. I'm not going to say anything about the prices. Joe Wa Young. Ah, oh, Wa Young. Lee X. Lee X Furniture Front. See the old phone number there without the 4 zero. The old better home and living. I'm running here. Which was Rector Vision. Before that, it was put in here, and there was a mechanic in there. They built it for the mechanic, and then it's gone. So I don't know what the deal was with that. My place to do that, like this was highway tyres, built for highway tyres. So I see the highway tyres colouring. And the Repco took it over, took that coat down. Very prefabrication type place, like, um, like Super Cheap. Oh. Public holiday super tubes open, which is good because you've got a lot of people travelling around that need parts and need different things. Uh, I think that's a smart idea. And the BCF's probably open, not too sure. So that's Ibis Street over there, it's back where we just came from. Clouds are getting darker and darker. Hotel, you got Page Park across there where they put in the new footpath through it. The old MG Pies up there, Kayla Lawyers. Budget backpackers across the road to my left. Furniture world straight ahead. And why young Chinese takeaway there, it's for sale. I will show that just in case. Get sold and changed into something else. Make sure the signage is showing as much as we can. There's people outside furniture world like Cyclists. Seems to have stopped there. I don't think the pet store's open. We'll soon find out. No, I don't think it is. No, the sign down out. And you got uh, Tour Hub, Any Inc, Studio Cafe, Rebel, Rebel Cafe, Budget Backpackers, it's custom. Smart Phone and Computer Solutions. It's had a couple of different names over the years, so I sort of get a bit. Used. There's people coming across here. I can't stay too long, there's a pet's domain. Thank you, power equipment. Smell KFC a mile off. I'm sure that's open today. Down to my right, down Charles Street, you've got the. They don't usually show it, so I might actually go down and show it. I go looking for the computer in the phone place. There's people. Um, yeah, you've got the laundromat down here. And it's all second hand, it's been closed down for a long time. This is Dub Street if you're ever looking for it. To my right. Yeah, thank you, Power Mechanical. North Coast Machinery. 
25 beats per minute. That gives you a bit of a idea of what's down here. Look back, see what it was like. Plus, if you're wondering where things are at the time of recording this, it's accurate. And it's not second hand, still got stuff in there, but they've been closed for a very long time, unless someone else has taken it over. Where Mac Mullers used to be, the McClellan's had the mail shop there for years in the 90s at least. Everything must go open by appointment. There's a lot in there. But I remember when I went in there years ago, the prices were very, very steep. A lot of them were brand new prices, or even over brand new prices. That's what a lot of second hand dealers do. Or you get like cash converter sell CDs for like a dollar, dollar, two dollars when they still sold them. Um, that chappy down at the estate sale he told me he's selling it for ten dollars yeah so that's all I'll say about the prices that gives you an idea though but here's Swan Street SWAM we came pumping in irrigation just past it so if you ever looking for that now you know where it is to my left is Auto Air and Mechanical. That's all I can read on it. Yeah, Auto Air and Mechanical. And then GF Rural Supplies up here. This big building here. With all the garden supplies and that on it. We'll be coming up on the laundromat here. So if you're a backpacker or anyone that needs it, it's on the left up here. Just past Jura. GF Rural Supplies. You can go past the BP and around to it. I'll come at it from this direction, but you'll see when I'm leaving where well, you can come from the BP, the um, Bruce Highway, Ernest Street. In other words, so if you're coming along, I'll go down near the BP. So you just follow it the other way. If you're coming from that direction, if you found the BP. Of course, it's a little busy there. I'd like to show inside it so people have an idea what they got. But there's so many vehicles turning up. You can't really. Well, there's two vehicles, but yeah, you just never know. There's someone sitting there inside there. There used to be a house on the corner here. You can see photos of it on old New Innisfil photos on Facebook somewhere on there. There's a tank. I wonder what they're going to do here. It's the corner of Charles and Lily Street. So Charles Street becomes Lily Street. And goes around. And if you keep going down here past that, past that car there and the dog, you can get to Kmart that way. So here's where that house was for years and years. Now it's gone completely. You got Innisfail Tojo Spares up here. T O J O S, T Tojo's. I'm guessing that's how they say it. Gladys Street. We're looking for Gladys Street, it's up here. So we've done a lot of work that house on the corner there. 
It didn't look like it needed it, but yeah. you don't know what's behind the paint. So there's your Tojo spares. What is it? Auto spare parts, batteries, auto electrical parts, starter motors, alternators, water pumps, oil, fuel, air filters, 4x4 parts, car care products, tools, seat belts, and lights. So if you want to go to a local, instead of like a super cheap or somewhere, check him out. Check that out. No, this is not a sponsored video. Just mentioning what's there. Custom build constructions. Wow, they're doing a lot on that. Oh, they're putting in a ramp. So there's probably a business going in there, it wouldn't surprise me. And there's one of the Mamo Medical Center type things down there, the old Centrelink. So this is Brady Street. If you keep going down there to my right, here to my right, you get to come up. The one way street, once it gets further up. And there's McDonald's, the car park there you can get through. The McDonald's at the car park. And we're coming up what I class is the corner of Lily and Ernest Street, which it is. Where they're supposed to be knocking it down eventually. So I'll show a little bit of that. Here's where I was saying the BP is to my right, where you can uh, head down where that vehicle's going now, and you get down to the laundromat. Keep going straight around the roundabout, straight down the Lee Street. The McDonald's. One of the car parks over there. BP. these places are meant to be being knocked down. A lot of the shops are out of there now. Due to what's happening. There's your BP. Heyman's had a for sale sign on it for a while, but now it's gone. I don't know if they decided not to sell it, or somebody bought it. There was no, I never saw a sold sign on it, or the sign just got taken down. Someone took it. It does happen. Notice a lot of people keep asking this on Facebook where the where the Asian store has gone. Well, it's gone to where the book center news agency used to be in the main street. That's where that's gone to. So if you find the big undercover walkway, it goes across the street, it's right near there. If you're heading from this direction, it's on the right hand side. You'll see the sign anyway. It looks like it's closed most of the time, but it isn't. It's just the way the, their doors are. I bet if they had other doors, it'd make it a lot better. Oh, Harvey Norman's open. public holiday. It's all money. Think the vape shop's doing well, so it seems. Well, we're going to cross over. I've shown all this so many times. Over Harvey Norman side. Where Masala Bite Takeaway is, it's an Indian restaurant. Indian Takeaway restaurant. Harvey Norman here. We'll face the camera the other way to these people. Privacy, respect, it's the right thing to do. Even though you do the right thing and move the camera, they still give you weird looks. Oh, Tato and Titan video. Uh, uh, uh. 
that's how people are. That's how they say it. Uh, what's he doing? Ask me nicely, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Simple as that. If I've got business cards with me, I'll give you one. Wait, right? Tonight. Are you here? Anyway. So hungry jacks. Whew. Roscoe's just to my left. I'll wait for this chappy to go past and I'll show it. Back where we just came from. There's your Roscoe's pizza in Italian restaurant. Pizza pasta and all that. They'd be looking for that. A lot of people thought it was closed down. I had friends of mine that thought it was closed down because there was no big sign at the time. These are Hungry Jacks. The signage for their latest thing. Bubblegum Storm Shake. The new Whopper. Probably limited type mainly, is usually how it is. Like Coles is open. Mega Feast. That sign's wrong. Brecky 8 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. That doesn't mean 7 a.m. for a long time. A lot of people go there thinking it's the right time because of what it says. And it's not, they need to update it. I thought the clouds are coming over even more. So we'll keep on our merry way. Show what we can. Employment services here. Which one's this one? This one is Workforce Australia APM. Get the gum loon. Vince Martin. Now we're under cover, we can show a bit more. We don't have to worry about the rain as much. There's a coal supermarket across there. You've got the ice cream shop and EB Games and the barber shop. Barber shop here too, but I can't show it. No way, that's where our family health used to be. It's now moved and become target health. This is where that's our family health used to be. Trolleys, random trolleys. Having a meeting. Ain't no reality. Nova Unisex Salon. He's be owned by Betty Sinton. Joe Bala. Insurance. Then the basement, which used to be the soup kitchen. It's there. It used to be down there. Oh. Bob Catter's office. Off that. Don't need to get to show that either because people are usually at the ATM when I go past, so we'll quickly have a look. Public holiday notice. We close from Friday from 1 30 pm until Tuesday. Well, it doesn't say pm, but I assume it would be. Bowen Street. Okay. Yeah, Bowen Street. Here. Yeah. Or well, this one here. Bowen Street, and you got Eater Street, the main one. Here. Two kilometers. They accept Bitcoin pay. 
talking about that. Yeah, I'm starting to see that a little bit. Let me take a look. I don't know if they're open today. Or they're just doing stuff in there. Gamble real estate. They're good to have a few things like this open. Take away the store, so keeps people around. Keep spending money locally. But no, you tell. Just doing their thing. Rothney's Pharmacy. Yeah. George Cox's Rothney's Pharmacy. He won an award. I forget what the award was, but it was in the in the Cairns Post app. And people put it on in his news and views. There's all your lead lighting. I think at the top there. Very nice. Forest, you can see the old tiles. No, I liked it, the old tiles are still here. They're in a few different places. Way down. Cox has got it. As well. Rockies Pharmacy. Remember this used to be there used to be a neon sign up top. Neoning. Which was pretty cool. And you got where Leota's Emporium and McGee's and all that was. Back in the day. And it's now a random butterfly. They got the old tiles there too. Apparently there's old lead lighting up underneath this sign here too. You watch the video. The Art Deco guided walk, which is a tour. You see that on the Innisfail playlist or on the Art Deco festival playlist. My best of times reborn. First national. The old, it's just been multicolored. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the white with the other showing through at the top there. Look at the orange and the yellow showing. It used to be all the way down here. Pharmacy sign there and that. Okay. You got the Malik Center here. They got after pay. Some of the stuff they got in the window to look back on. They're a buy right home appliances place at the moment. A bit of electrical back in the day. There's Target Health across there. Classic Nails as far the Westpac. Okay. Yeah, Rockman's. Remember that being Stagman's way back in the day. Rockman's. We got Odd Mate here. Ursula's relaxation. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Asian store. This is where the Inner Asian stores moved to. Like I said earlier, a lot of people have been asking. On the Inner News and Views. Every couple of days someone asked it. It's closed. Closed Monday the 2nd of the 10th, 2023. Reopened Tuesday the 10th, 9 a.m. This used to be the book centre, news agency, for forever and many years. Yeah, come this way, house here. Yeah. Exit ATM. That's up for sale. But it's still open, not normal hours. Sort of food emporium. There are jewelers and best chan. Noodle house. Reminded to myself to cut that. The old ANZ. Over there, the old ANZ bank. Wonder if they're working on it today. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to get my mask out. So I'm right in town now. I'll be back. Okay, we're back again. I'll have to put my mask on. Getting across, I can 
Street. There's your courthouse over there. And there's my courthouse. Okay, so I've got to talk a little bit louder now because I've got the mask on. So you can hear what I'm saying. We'll look across to the old ANZ bank while we're here. Don't get as much done while all that rain comes on this video. Cut a court through there. Museum down there, like a historical society and all that. Definitely check that out when you come to town. You get information there too about the town and that. You got more information, visual, very visual. Check out old and new Inner photos on Facebook. Check out Best of Science Reborn on YouTube, the Inner playlist, Stephen at Cairns playlist. So you want to have a look at the videos I've recorded in Cairns. Yeah. A bit weary of this rain. But we're trying to get the best video we can, so yeah, best way to do it, quality-wise. Okay, this is this Rankin Street. Post office to my, my left. The old Tosca Exchange here. I still think still is Tosca Exchange. To my right. I'm not seeing it down there. Yep, Tosca in this whole exchange. Telecom. Tafe signage. There's not much tape here anymore, it's more cans. We've got National Australia Bank and where the Intersol Advocate used to be. The old Bluebird Cafe up top. Don't know if anything's up there anymore. But Intersol MMA was there for a while. Paul KZ was there for a long time. Up there. See so got the old signage up there with the Robertson Brothers. Established 1916. All these Art Deco buildings. Got Les Taylor's personal trainer. Everfit Gym. I haven't seen people going in there for a long time. I used to see people a lot. But I don't come up here that much, so I'm not saying that there's not. Any. But anyway, Perry's Cakes. We'll be closed for one week, starting the 25th of the 9th till Tuesday the 3rd of the 10th. Sorry. Sorry for any inconvenience, it's Perry's Cakes. And they close for the first Saturday of each month. There you go. The Porto is closed on the other side, Taste of Italy. It's been a few different places over the years. Maybe graphically speaking, was in there for a while. When it was two separate buildings, two separate shops. Set up. And that downstairs there was a gym. Go through the middle and go downstairs. I wonder if that downstairs is actually still there. It's just moment here on beauty. Sports look. Sports look's been here for a while. I guess they don't like people seeing in there. Seeing what they got for sale. Got it closed. QIT is in here now. It's another job agency. Fix my stuff was in here for a little while. Vandalore and Todd, so that's it is. Been there forever. It's Hazel. Oh, Hazel over there. Classic. Dental surgery. Spear bank. Very Art Deco design. Built in the Art Deco era. A lot of this was built in the Art Deco era. They're not just remakes from years later. George and Matilda Ike. Yeah, they have asked to pay. It's hard to see the signage in video. Sometimes it looks better when you see it later on. 
but what I can see in the screen doesn't look as good as what you see in person or what you see on the video later on and there's the Johnson Shire Council Shire Hall and the Queen's Hotel the old tiles showing through here interesting what is the writing still there? yeah people would put writing in the down here one day that'll be gone it's hard to read the writing. I've tried to show certain photos and that. All dirty. But yeah, there's another one further up. There's a few that I saw. I was waiting to go in one of the shops here. I think that's just 1987, but it makes it hard to read. Like Brenda, 20th of the 10th, 07. Oh, there you go. I think it's 07. There's another one up here. Someone's name. Down here. And the old tiles. Down through. Uh, so there was another one. There was more than that, but anyway, I think it's gone. That's part of this here. You got the town library here. That goes up there. See, I'm always playing video games there. It must be pre-internet there or something, I assume. Yep, video girls just up. Oh. If you know, you know. It's one of those. If you know, you know. Oh, so I'm backing out too fast when there's a car coming. So, if you come along here when the Art Deco Festival when that was on, you'll see that there was a 2019 sign here they were reusing didn't even change it, didn't even cover it over the, the uh, 2019 on there that was funny you can see it in one of my videos when I walk along in one of the update videos here's them again they're in the wrong place the raking terraces the license is open It's hard to get rid of these places because they're usually open. Pathologist up there, oh, psychologist, sorry. Jenna Canwright. <laughs> Speedy Staff Solutions. A lot of the overseas workers go there. People that come. This is your Sapporo de Italia. Face of Italy. closed. You have no idea what sort of stuff they sold. Little opening, little window there where you can get stuff. There's been a few different places over the years. There was Time Out Cafe at one stage. Anderson's Carpet was there too. Prior to that, the health food shop. Used to be Jack Jack or Boss's Chemist back in the day. You know, these chemists in these style of buildings had, had all these old little triangle bits here. The old tiles there. You can see where they cut off some of the old tiles when they put all this pebble crete stuff here. Hmm. You got elders insurance. I think it's quite a few things. We can see the actual signage of these places. 42 minutes so far. No recording. Yeah, when you watch old videos back that aren't stabilised, it really helps to. Because a lot of people rush their videos. Nice to be able to see the detail as much as possible. So that quick cigarettes in 60 minutes thing still open. It's open today. Okay. This is where Innisfail MMA used to be. Right there. Oh, there's a chiropractor up there. You can read that. I could follow. Aloe's up there. She's a. Um, call it a 
married Dolomite. See their naming ceremonies, renewal of vows, funeral. I don't know how to say the last name, so I'm not going to say it. Wonderful, weddingrooms.com.au. Okay. Great event showroom, must be a showroom up there. There you go. It's different. And you got where the Flaxy Cyber Cafe used to be right here. And Cornerstone Christian Bookstore was down the back. Got Tabas Terra and Beauty here. I don't know what's down the back now. I think it's the eye eyebrow place. Eyelash and eyebrow place. I'm not 100% sure. There is a sign there. Something in code. I can read on there. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comment section. For looking back purposes. So you've got the work link across there where we walked through before. Dancing Divas, Perry's Cakes. Sports up and all that, like we showed before. And it's well optical. It's the old signage on there still. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to look back at these videos, like I say, on these years later and just see how many changes there is. Hopefully, there's not one at this like here. It's nice to show what it was like here. No, there's not one there. It's a smart ATM. Got Arnold and Cooper lawyers. Which used to be the advocate office. The advocate was across the road at one stage too. Where that, what is it, work link? Where that work link is now. And there used to be. Oh, Top H and Army store was there for a while. Loot was there. You got Castle Coast Realty. Over there. Can't talk about giving me a good look. Yeah, he's still looking at me. Well, I'll, I'll show him. Hmm. There you go, Chappie. You're gonna give people weird looks in that, like they're doing the wrong thing. And they're not. Well, we can't show back where we just came from. Someone using the ATM. But this, when I first saw it, was the National Bank. There used to be stairs here, coming out to here. It's old signage showing through there. But that was from around the corner, that boutique. reusing the sign just to cover that up. And Nico was there for a bit. He got powerhouse property. Which was oh Harvey World Travel. What do they call themselves after that? Uh, Hello World, yeah. Hello World. This is where the ATM used to be for the National Bank back then. Back when it was the National Bank, you got IK Plus, Optometrists. Excellent. This was Lagana Pharmacy. Uh, focus on books. There was a, a butcher here for a while. I think it was my choice butcher. Burn Travel. Two chappies that have run that over the years have passed away sadly. This was Izzy's when I first saw it. My mum knows it as Dairy Queen back in the day. Got two dreams in colour now. And then the friend of Gore. I remember this being uh, J Carr and Tandy. Out with the Kapokis running it. Part of history. Debbie's wedding in a florist shop. Leading edge electronics. Show the one in the window. Very nice here. Very nice. Debbie's wedding in a florist shop. For flowers, toys, and balloons. Here. And need us gifts and souvenirs. Olivera's Deli. Continental Deli, that is. And then, uh, just close to me. Up here. Go down the cover walkway. Over here. So that's basically seconds. the whole walk. It's three thousand seven hundred four steps. Heart rate one hundred and sixteen beats per minute. Stationary. It's Jacob's Emporium. Recent co-butcher. I'm not coming, so 
building right straight to here. In Edith Street, basically across from Rockland, straight across from Rockland, where Scott Flores used to be, if you're wondering. Classic nails and spa. Now the camera stuff here is moving into this Target Health. Doll patterns and cameras are moving in there. This is where Kennedy's news agency used to be and APC computers. of course, Target Health and Medical Center, where Target used to be, Target Country. These tiles are a bit wobbly when I stand on them. That's where Sol Patents and Chemist is going to. Right at home. Where K10 Shoes used to be, is right here. Look up this, both buildings, all those shops. Or part of the white, the old White Horse Hotel. Go back where we just came from. Back down, the sun's coming back out, so we might better get a bit more longer video. There we go. Salt pattern from chemist here on the corner. Probably closed on the public holiday. We keep noticing. I want to show this as much as possible because of it closing down and moving. It's target health. Two doors down at 67 to 69 Edith Street. Go down there. Where we just showed it before. Okay. Let's just quickly show down Edith Street. Or Quigley, if you know, you know. Wiggly show down there. This is a Brightex water fountain bubbler. So I wouldn't suggest drinking out of, you just never know. But you can see that it's Brightex. B R I T E X. Excellent. Okay, so we'll continue on here. where Sundown Family Dental is now. That was a um, job agency for a while there. One of the job agencies was there, and before that it was Innisfil Custom Clothing, where a lot of people still called it, cheap t-shirt shop. It was a hobby shop as well. Right here where it says Sundown Family Dental, all the way down to this white roller door, they had it all there. Yeah, they're closed for the public holiday. As you'd expect, they have after pay. Cool, and zip pay. And you got Suncorp Bank, which is the Suncorp Metway. Back in there, early days. So that's the Suncorp ATM. This used to be Dick Smith Electronics, that's all electronics. A few different ones, Rivers, yeah. The Rivers Insurance. Advice and insurance. So in a style dentist, Dr. J. Lo and Dr. Love Ahmet Singh, hopefully I've said it right, if not, sorry, um, they are moving to next to BCF, there's old um, concrete flats there have been done up, been doing it up for a while, so we'll show the signage here. The signage is actually on the building and part of it, I put a ramp in and all that, so they've moved out of the, or either moved or moving out of the rising sun to the Rising Sun Centre. Yeah, there's not much in this left in here anymore. Sugar and spice is gone. But the signage is still there. It's been gone for a fair while now. Steps are still in there as far as I know. Uh, training, education and training. PVW is still there, the tax and accounting. Coral Coast Financial Services, I don't know if they're in there or not. 
And the dentist is not doing anything. So, it used to be a thriving place in here. With um, Whispers Cafe, Blenner's Meats, Staffordshire's Pharmacy, owned by Santo Gulo, and then Jeff and Carol Hater had it. Um, cheap t-shirt shop was in here. There was a hairdresser upstairs. There was uh, what was the place called? The Red. I think the yeah the Red Cross had their thrift store in there. Just go in there for the. Whispers Cafe plus the uh, Safiotis Pharmacy. This is the back of the Shire Hall. There's a tile shop up here at one stage. And I think the Red Cross might have had their thing in there. There was definitely an op shop in here at one stage that had a big, huge Coke machine, a real fancy one. Like, I think it was a 600ml Coke machine. It was bottles, anyway. But I think Marlin Tiles was in here. In this building up here, that's why we're going to show it. And then there was a gym in there for a little while, too. Back of the old cane growers, all that brown up there. In the back of the Queen's Hotel, all that white there. That's the show hall. Missed to be a closing bin here. Two of them. You can see where the concrete parts where they were. Anyway, there's back where we just came from. So that. So this is Owen Street. O W E N. Owen. The back of the missile plumbing and paint. Can sideway. So this is. Yeah, I'm sure Repco was in here at one stage. Quite certain that Repco was here. If my memory doesn't fail me with that. But it was definitely a gym, there was definitely an op shop, and there was definitely a tile shop in there, like Marlin Tiles or something. You used to be able to see the signage, or where the sign used to be for years, where it was just painted over, but you still had the shape of it, like the marlin fish up there, so but it's not there anymore. So we'll cross over so we can see the outside of that properly. Cross over Owen Street, wait for this vehicle to go past. So if you keep going up this way, you get to Grey Street and you go over it, you get to the two Catholic schools, the college and the primary school, up that way, in between the two, which can't hardware. So there's where yeah, the tile place used to be. Yeah, for years you could tell. It's a little bit out deco at the top. And you can see the railing and the, like, the balcony there. It's very steep here. But they're open. The um, hardware. Just smart, really. A lot of people doing handiwork, handyman stuff on their places on their day off. Trade barrow, $109. Barrow. There you go. That's our plumbing and paint bulk store. A lot of old signage and stuff there, very old. Good to show. Standard archive boxes. August 2016, May 2005. <laughs> that paint's coming off. Side of coals. Cross supermarket that is, not Coles the Cross Street. <laughs> Shire Hall, across there, back of the Shire Hall. In the back of the shops in Rankin Street there. The Blasons and that, and so on. Down where we showed before. Coles supermarket sign. 
and we'll show these random trolleys because you never know they'll change over time. There's a little one here. So we've been going for nearly nearly an hour. Showing what they got written on them. So some of the Woolworths trolleys still have W worth on these crossbars that go across between the two where the wheels go. Mm. Showing any weird looks off people. Don't know, but you know, never know. Got this QR code and stuff on there. Pause to read. Hmm. Interesting to see what that actually says. There's one on the other trolley, but it's too far down to reach it. I don't know there's people in cars watching me. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, but you know, people go confined to space and people are permanent only. So supermarket over there. Before the car comes along, it's quite steep. So, we were before with rivers, Suncorp, and all that part of the old White Horse Hotel. The pathology, QML pathology, the tropical cleaning services, mulling and pressure cleaning, commercial and industrial. And the sign there it used to be a lead lighting place down there, and a the sign lighting place at one stage. The QML pathology. Yeah. NQIB here. Costco, C O S C A, lifestyle numbers. I don't know <laughs> what that's all about. I think there might be an accountant. And you got Terry White, which is open today. I remember years ago on my Hennessy group, I show, showed a photo of down here and asked if people knew where, where it was. Someone worked it out. Sort of a quiz. Okay. That was on Owen Street, nearly up to Edith Street. Kelowna Pharmacy slash Terry White Cam Mart. Free delivery, Johnson Chaya. Still written on there. Probably not readable in the video. Hopefully it is. You got EV games here and there. That's open today. Across to the tobacco and the old and this whole family house. Then you go bank. And so forth. See if we could show any EV games just slightly. I don't want to show it's quite dark in here. Barbershop and the ice cream place. They're closed. Temporary closed till further notice. Yeah. Continue on our way past Coles. Closest to the right. Oh, hot. hot and sweaty. Well, what does my watch say the temperature is now? It's updated itself. So it's 22 degrees, but I don't think that's accurate. Oh well, we'll check on the on the phone. See what it says. Four kilometers completed. Duration 58 minutes 34 seconds. 4,680 steps. Heart rate is 29 beats per minute. 10:46 a.m. Yeah, well, that shows up on here, but. Be able to see it. Oh, well, there you go. See play corner. Call sign. 
That's the place used to be. Yeah. Hungry Jacks, Bunnings, Oscars. Back up where we just came from. Definitely show the fronts of the buildings. Zoom back out. We continue on. There's all the Eda Street, Bruce Highway. Our King George. Memorial Gate or King, just King George Park, a lot of people call it King George Park, a lot of people call it Anzac Memorial Park, people get upset when you say the wrong thing, so whatever, whatever works. So we'll continue to show down here, got a wall memorial to the left, toilets to the left, which I wouldn't use, it. because they're quite dirty. Playground to my left. I'm going to show you where the dentist is going into. When we get over there, the people aren't standing outside there still. But there's your playground, King George Park, Anzac Park. I don't know why people get real petty about that. What it's called. They're playing on the cannon. If anyone remembers the old NBL team, the Canberra Cannons. Reminds me of the Canberra Cannons. National basketball, Australian basketball. Okay, so next to BCF is where the Innisfil dentist is moving to. So I think those people are going to stay standing out there for a while. Here's a band rotunda. We'll do a 360 around it. I mean, in this case, just walking around it. So you can see a bit more detail. I know it's got Townsville on there somewhere. It says Townsville. Just three, three hours south of here. Yeah, W. Robertson Townsville. There you go. W. Robertson Townsville. Part of history there. Of course, I'm going to take the graffiti near it. There you go. It's a much more friendlier park today compared to the elements of people that are usually in here. Like I wouldn't come and sit in here normally. The information vein's not here, of course, which it should be. Put some of the design up there. We'll go in there. And there's no intoxicated people sitting here. You can see a bit of this in my Lioness Markets video in the park here. Yeah. A bit more of a look around. This used to be painted black and white back in the day. It looked really nice. You can see kids playing hopscotch and stuff on there. Pretty cool. Good. JSI, it look, that's what it looks like it says, but I'm not too sure. You've got to read it better in video, it says Australia, I think, at the top. That's what we've got up there. The design, pretty cool. It's nice to see a 
actually cleared and just general public or tourists and that sitting around the park. Beautiful park. And a lot of people get uh, deterred from coming in here because of some of the loud people that are often in here. So, nice. See just general people in here. But the information then, of course, isn't. So I can have a bit of a restroom, I get a bit of a time lapse in here. Good way to get a bit of a rest. Come on, stuck a 10 cent piece on there. Which people have tried to get off. It's pretty well stuck on there. Anyway, I'll do a short time lapse and then we'll move on. Give me half an hour time lapse. So I can have a rest. Okay, we're back again after doing a half an hour time lapse. We're going to head over from King George to show where the new, where the, uh, the dentist has moved to. The one that I showed was in, um, in the Rising Sun. It used to be in the Rising Sun. So, show that, show the UV charges on the way through just slightly. That's the direction where it is. Make sure I didn't leave anything up there. One thing to always check when you left something. Yeah. Sure. So this is um, this is Gladys Street We're coming up up to here. So this is your EV set up here. I've recorded more in-depth video about it. You got a tap there, and you got the Anzac Memorial Park sign. And then this is where the dentist is going. I don't know if they're open yet or they're finished, but just have a quick look. There's BCF. So straight across in the EV charges, or two vehicle charges, next to BCF. Opposite Anzac Park, Anzac Memorial Park. So you'll see the signage in a sec, to show that it is, because a lot of people don't believe me when I say it. But, and it's our dentist, right there. Let's just show that a little bit. So that's where it is, and it's our dentist. Doesn't have the names of the dentists on it, like the old sign that I showed before. I'm sure they'll end up there at some stage. Hmm. There you go, and it's our dentist. So either moved in or is moving in over here. Next to where Tang Villa used to be. For old school people, where Pappy's gym was. Okay, we'll continue on to 
towards Eda Street, Rest Highway, heading north direction. That's the Cairns sort of direction. So there's back where we just came from. Showing that building, used to be flats. Glad it's been done up and taken over. Looks a lot nicer. The only thing is it's less, less rental accommodation for people that desperately need it. Okay, so we're now on Edith Street. It's a corner of Buddy and Edith, it's a signage. KFC sign. Continue along our merry way. The old Sepoy house to the left. This is the old entrance and all that to Tang Villa. The old gate. The old school gate here. I see Taylor's used to be. Taylor's West. Through the part of BCF through there. The old old Sepoy house, which is a heritage listed house. You can have a look at that on Wikipedia. Type in Sepoys. S W E P O Y S. Two separate words. Well it's shown as two separate. It's the one last name, but yeah. We're going to go in the shade because it is quite hot. Got KFC to my left. Over there. So this is Innisfail Mazda to my right. Got Innisfail Mazda written on it. As you can see on the signage here. In as well, Mazda. Still got the Holden Genuine Part signs up there. Hopefully they keep them there. It's all history now. And Holden's closed down in Australia. There's no Holden anymore. There's a Holden vehicle here though. As you can see this one here. It's got a log book apparently. I'm not a car person, but I know what I like the look of. This looks nice. This I actually like the look of. It's Holden here. I don't know what kind of Holden it is, I'm not into it all, but there you go. Another Holden, there's a Holden Ute up there. Okay, so we're at Charles Street. Torrells. Reminds me of Charles off at Little House in the Prairie. His wife always called him Charles. With that accent. This is where KFC, Red Rooster and Jonas Catch have been over the years. And then there's a fresh noodles for sale, a kilo for four dollars. There you go. See the old tiles from when it was one of the takeaway stores. There used to be seats here. There used to be one down the back. People had moved one around the back. I don't know if it's still there. This is all from when it was Red Rooster and all that. A different colouring of the design. Yeah, there used to be one of the old tables at the back, but it's gone. Yeah, it's long gone, probably. The one that was there for years and years and years, these tables that were there from the Red Rooster era, KFC. Wow. And people say the Y Young restaurant, uh, yeah. No, the Gum Loon used to be here. People have said that. There is a little thing, I wish I'd remembered it when I was across the road. Up the top, that's like a Chinese looking thing. I don't know if it's noticeable in the video. I'll zoom in, but this is as far as I can show it. So there's like a tile there with something on it. Tap to focus, but I doubt you'll be able to see it. It's above that archway sort of window. Of course there. Actually, it looks a bit Catholic-y. It's hard to tell from this distance. It's been there for a while, I remember it there years ago. This is where Fred Sandwiches and all that used to be along here. 
uh, Day's Blue Ribbon Pies. I don't know if anyone remembers Day's Blue Ribbon Pies. Got Studio Cafe, just closed. We've got Tattoo Place, Penny Ink. Rebel Coffee, which is closed. As it is a public holiday, that's fair enough. Then you've got the backpackers, as well, budget backpackers. Where Simbab Kebab used to be, and in Inisfile Building Supplies. Inisfile Building Supplies was in the main part, and then Simbab Kebab was here. Simbab Kebab can only get better. Simbab Kebab, what a treat. Simbab Kebab can only get better, yeah. That was the ad they used to do on the radio, which they, were, they say was sung by Bibby, the guy who owned it, Stephen Castro. There's um, Kayla Lawyers, where his dad's veterinary surgery used to be years ago, Anthony Kayla. And the CRT, your local bloke, was here, which was his dad, brewer camping supplies and that. Which is MG Pies was. Looks like they're doing something in there, you can't see in there. I could, but I'm not going to lift the camera up that high. It's possible though. Though we're heading down towards Page Park. There's your Make It Super, Super Chip Auto. Certain angles, it looks like Naked Super. If you look at it, certain angles. Yes. Commonwealth Hotel towards Page Park. Interesting to show for us to see, future generations to see. There's an Ibis Street down there. To my left. Okay, Page Park. The new, new pathway here, fairly new. Seen the update videos for the last few months when they were doing it and they were building it. I wish they'd cover up all this blue metal with turf and that, but otherwise, it ends up all over the pathway and wrecks it. It's horrible. It's a nice little park here. I very rarely see anyone sitting in there, but I have seen a person sitting there reading a book one day on this particular seat here. So, notice this place is up for sale. Wonder how long it'll be there for. I could. Um, deleted, removed, torn down, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of these houses and flats and stuff along here have been over the years to make way for other stuff. That's back where we just came from, Commonwealth Hotel, and that new pathway, Page Park, P-A-G-E. detail as possible. The way it was. It's good to look back years later. I know I always say that, but it's true. So I'll show you support. Link is in the description. Even just subscribe, like, comment. Helps the channel out eventually. With the um, YouTube's algorithm, it really helps. It shows YouTube that people actually are watching the stuff, that they like NSR videos, it'll recommend it to more people. So here's your really strange intersection, the corner of Gladdy, I mean, chart, I'll get it right, the corner of Grace Street and Edith Street, and you've got Gordon Street over there. The Gordon's that side street that goes down to Gecko's Auto Electrics. Where Kimmick Steel used to be next to it, the white building. Page Park sign just up here. Hopefully it'll show up. Marina Lakes and Gardens turn left 200 metres sign. Really needs revitalising, cleaning up. 
yeah, flat out reading it if you're driving along. But this is Page Park. The way it is, on the 2nd of October 2023, it is now 11.44am. the way it is. Yeah, it's really weird, there should be a proper crossing at this part here. So we might stick to this side of the road though, because we showed the other way on the way in. So yeah, this isn't filled in and everything too, it would be nice if it was. And a bit nicer for pedestrians. And it looked nicer too. Up in the vinyl place, and there's your Gordon Street. See, realistically, you're meant to walk all the way up here along this, which used to have the dots for the visually impaired, but I know what happened to that. They wear off after a while, though. Yeah, they need to make a better version of them, it's not fair on the visually impaired. A lot of people think they're for grip, but they're not, they're for the visually impaired to know where things are and which place to walk. So there's towards Gundy Hill. There's back towards where we came from before, plus the, um, up towards the Catholic Church and all that. Best by carpet and vinyl. So I'm meant to walk all the way down here and then around and get down to Gordon Street. So, yeah, a little strange, but anyway. Best by carpet and vinyl. There used to be a crystal shop in here, but that's gone. You can see Steve Hunt's motorcycle sign showing through through that. Hopefully it shows up. So if you're wondering exactly where this is, it's right near where John Williams motorcycles used to be, right here. And here was Leonard's Motors Marine, and before that there was a um, there was a service station way back here. I've seen photos of it over the years. Still, coastal farm and motorcycles. Used to be hills tractors, and then it all changed and moved and did its thing. There's hills here for a little bit. Old Tommy Hill. Spot on tyre and mechanical. This was Bridgestone back in the day, as you can see it shining through. I like seeing the old sign showing through. There's also bow repairs at one stage, a few other different ones. Zoom back out. This is closed down. I've seen people getting their stuff out of there, cleaning it up. There is notices on the window if you want to have a look, come and have a look. I'm not going to show them. They're all to do with law stuff, legal things, unauthorised entry prohibited and all this other full-on stuff. So I'll just show you what it looked like here. It's probably just about a higher cars from here, one stage. You can see a rock shop written there, that was the crystal thing. Rock shop and carpet. It's only does two times zoom, so bear with me. Now across to where I said where Doggy used to live, if you know, you know. Sundown Engineering here. You can smell smoke. Probably cigarette smoke, but I can smell it. Yeah, Sundown Engineering. Been a few different places over the years, and I was a mechanic here at one stage. Tropical, Valley Tropical North, St. Michael Street. They've got Fusion Gym down there, Fusion Fight and Fitness. And further down, you've got like a, one of the curiouses down there. Motor bikes going past. Very nice looking ones. I'm coming up. This used to be a yellow building for a long time. And I remember back in the 90s sometime there was a second hand dealer in here. And at one stage there was a lattice place in this part. I don't know if anyone remembers that. You'd see like kids' cubby houses and stuff in the window. 
in my old 24 hour service station. The mobile central, as it used to be known back in the day, when we had more than one mobile service station close. You had um, Pesolato's one out of Gundy, Gundy Bend. You had this one, and then you had the one near the Caribbean Park on the way out of town south. So, so this one by the taxis was known as Mobile Central. This is John Street. You got John Street there. It's the 180 that I showed before. Car wash. Windy auto wash, dog wash, professional car detailing. All that. Mobile 24 hour here. We'll head up towards Castle Rico's Battery Centre and the Metro and the Ampole. There you got your Innocent Motors Group. No, this is not about advertising all these places. I'm not sponsored by any of them. It's more just showing what was around and what was available at these particular times. What sort of businesses, what? They end up going, oh, that's right, that's where that was. Oh, I remember that business. Yeah, I remember that being there. Oh, I'd forgotten where that was. Or I was trying to think where that was. Yeah, well, this shows a lot of detail of where all that was and is. It's also a way you can find places too, if you're looking. If you're watching these and you can see what's around. Oh, that's what's here. Well, that's where that is, okay. So I needed to go there, and there's a pothole right there, so beware. Right near that, that's very dangerous. Could have twisted my ankles on, on that part. Stop for your place through there. A few other places, which we won't go through. Been a little closed in that. Lucky I didn't twist my ankle in that spot. The metro. That always flashes on video. Only because of the camera, it's not like that in person when you look at it. Yeah, Impulse. It used to be Caltex. Down to those places that I was saying before, the stock feed and all that. I'm sure there's a mechanic or something like that down there. Yeah, Impulse, though. We put that sort of siding stuff up the top, which is good. It's a lot cleaner. They were doing that yesterday when I went past. I do have photos of it on old new Unisol photos on Facebook. Look for the 1st of October album. You'll see it. There's your used to be Caltex. You know, the Empire. Oh, you never know how things are going to change. Hopefully they put in EV charges one day two or three different types. Here's your Reese plumbing across there, which used to be Heyman's Electrical. It was built for Heyman's. Then you got Goodyear Auto Care, which used to be Goodyear Tyrone Auto, and the old bakery there, back where we just came from. We love showing the detail. It's like I said, it'll be very interesting years later seeing the detail. Well, that's not there anymore. That place isn't there. This place is there still. Oh, they've built something in there now. And we'll see the changes. So here's the Gundy Hill Hotel. The drive through and the hotel itself. Simo's Gundy Hill Hotel. And we're gonna stay on this side. As we get up further, there's the old Kirby's Corner. It's been sold. Got the signage. I mean, the fence is gone from around there like I showed before. Peter. Yeah, we'll try and show the Kirby's Corner sign if we can. I'll zoom in. Like I said, it's only two times zoom. It gives you an idea. Used to be a seat there, used to be shops. Used to be bins, used to be pay phones back in the day, used to be a um, post box and everything. 
years and years and years. Gundy Hill Hotel, Jasmine's type massage next to it. It's a massage restaurant. All that written there. Oh, that was ending a little bit still. This drive closed due to public holiday today. Oh, closed today due to public holiday. Okay. Like a lot of places. This is the time to make the money though when people are looking for food, especially out of towners. But anyway, it's a family barbershop with this Jasmine Thai massage. Bit of the signage there. So you get an idea of what this seven days a week. I don't know how she does it. Be good on her. Family barber, no times on that. Had a few different owners over the years since it opened. There was a scrapbooking place in there at one stage. Yeah, there's been a few. This is a fairly new pathway here. I wish they'd put a rubbish bin in along here somewhere. Here we just throw everything over the fence here. Looking that smart. Back towards Simos. Barbershop and all that, and Jasmine's Thai Massage. Zoom in a little bit, hopefully we can see the sign up top. Where it says Hotel and Gundy Grill Steakhouse. They should light that up at night. So people know that it's there. There's your railway street, which goes down to Arena Nursing Home. You can go that way to there. Alrighty then. So and now, once we get just over here, we're going to finish the video. Just quickly look back where we just came from, Kirby's Corner and all that. Back towards town direction. Okay, this is Best of Times Reborn, keeping memories alive for us and future generations to see. Feel free to check the links in the description, check out old new and well photos on Facebook, Best of Times Reborn on YouTube. Check the links in the description for donation, to be able to make donations to the channel or just to see other videos, links to other videos. Check out the Tropical Art Deco playlist, the Cairns playlist, the radio playlist, the Innisfail playlist. Um, best of times reborn and we'll catch you in the next one.